Hello friends, welcome back again to engineering tutorial. Uh, in my previous video, we studied about uh, AND gate in the category of basic logic gates. We discussed about the basic definition, the block diagram operation, the schematic symbol and the truth table. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about another basic logic gate which is the OR gate. Okay, so let us get started. So, similarly as we did in the AND gate uh, operation, first we will discuss uh, it in block diagram way. Okay, so let us say we take a OR gate. Okay, okay, the OR logic gate. It can have multiple inputs that is more than 2, but here for the sake of simplicity, we are taking only 2 inputs A and B. And uh, the output, let us say Y. So, the OR gate, what kind of operation does it perform on the 2 input digital signals? Okay. The output Y is the addition of the two logic signals, the two digital signals A and B. This A plus B. Okay, here for for making you understand, I am using plus, but we never say plus in digital. Okay, it is called as A or B. Okay, A or B. This plus sign it represents OR operation, the logic OR operation, A or B. It performs the addition of the two input logic levels, that is A and B. So, this is the output format of the OR gate. Again, let us discuss the schematic symbol. Okay. In what way the OR gate is represented in a digital circuit diagram? So, the OR gate looks something like this. Okay. The two inputs A and B and this is the output Y. It is equal to A or B. Okay? A or B. Here also A or B. So, this is the schematic symbol. Okay? It is it is looks like the shape of a the fin of a fish. It looks something close to that. Okay? Uh, the shark fin something like that, but we can relate it uh, like that to, to in order to remember it in a in an easier way. So, this is the symbol of the OR gate with two inputs just as we have taken in this block diagram and this is the output which is the addition of the two input digital signals. Okay? So, now let us discuss the truth table that is the input and output relationship of the OR gate. So, let us draw the schematic symbol again. Okay. The two inputs A, B and this is the output A or a sorry, this is uh, A or A or B. Okay. So the truth table. So it is the input output relationship. There are two inputs that will be 
separate column and the output there is only one the inputs are a and b and the output is y so as there are two inputs there can be four input combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 that is both the inputs a and b are logic low a is logic low b is logic 1 that is a is low b is high then a is high b is low and in the last case both the inputs are logic high that is both are logic 1 so the output is the addition of the two input logic levels that is a or b or a plus b you can say it like that so it perform it, it obeys the binary addition rules okay the binary addition rules when both the inputs are zero you know zero plus zero is zero 0 plus 0 is 0. When A is 0, that is A is low and B is 1 or high, then the output will be 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1 as per the binary addition rules. Next, A is high or 1 and B is low or 0. Then 1 plus 0 is 1. When both A and B are 1. Okay, when both A and B are 1, then 1 plus 1 is 1. Actually, in binary addition, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1, but here, as per the Boolean algebra rules, 1 plus 1 is 1. Plus 1 is 1. So, here the important case is the first one. This is the only case in which the output is low the only case in which the output is low in all the other cases the output is high it is only in this case the output is low so only when both the inputs are at logic low level or logic zero the output will be zero or low and in all the other remaining cases the output will be high okay this is the unique characteristic of or gate only when both the inputs a and b okay here we are discussing the two input logic gate so when both the inputs will be low the output will be low and when either of the input is high or logic one the output will be this is the unique characteristic of the OR gate. In AND gate, it was the opposite. When both the inputs was high, the output was high and in all the cases it was low. That was the unique characteristic of AND gate. In AND gate, the output was like y is equal to a dot b that is a and b. So, when either of the input will be 0, either or both the output will be 0 when either a or b will be 0 the output will be 0 only when both a and b are 1 the output will be 1 the output will be logic high when both the inputs are high for AND gate but in OR when both the inputs are low the output will be low so these are the two unique characteristics which are each associated with each logic gate with AND gate when both the inputs are high the output is high with OR gate when both the inputs are low the output will be low okay so all the logic gates they have such unique characteristics associated with them and if you remember those characteristics these unique characteristics it will be easy to remember uh, the operation of the logic gates especially for a beginner uh, to digital uh, the subject of digital electronics okay so here we have discussed about uh, the or gate uh, the category of the basic logic gates we discussed about 
the basic definition of the OR gate, the schematic symbol and the input output relationship through the truth table and the unique characteristic of the OR gate. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.